What is going on everyone? Dar Sizzle here and today is day two of our Homa Sasa trip and Dar Sizzle is in the Sasa so today we're doing something fun and exciting. I've never done this before but we are going to the Homa Sasa Springs which should be really cool fresh water pour out of 72 degree water that is non-stop pouring out of these springs and it goes into a 45 deep a 45 foot uh, area where the water pours into so we're gonna go check that out today and then also I heard about wild monkeys here in Florida and honestly living here my whole life I've never heard of wild monkeys in Florida and apparently they're like on an island and um, there's quite a few of them there so I've never seen this before never heard of it so we're gonna go on a search for these monkeys as well so today is gonna be an interesting day no fishing unfortunately but um, this is a travel part of it so hopefully you guys enjoy What? You guys, what are you guys doing? You guys are a little noisy. <laughs> just, just kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, so we're on the way to these springs. We don't know exactly where they are, of course, um, but they're up this way. And, you know, I just want to give a big shout out actually to Landshark Lager, you know, sponsoring this trip. You know, they support lady anglers, of course. And please make sure to subscribe. Uh, yes. Share this video if you love it. And a big shout out to Captain Redhead for letting us borrow his amazing Carolina skiff. Look at this! So we could go by ourselves today and explore, which is really nice of him. Thank yeah. you, Red Ed. Well, live at large. We've never been to this Homo Sassa area. It's about, it's about two hours north of Tampa, right? Yeah. Uh, on the northwest coast of Florida, and it's fed by these clear springs, which we're heading to right now. And they just make this area so clean and beautiful, and, and the estuary is sick. Trout, redfish. Red Ed is redfish Ed. And the scallops are here, like we caught on our last video, if you check that out. Sheep's head grouper. Everything. I'll put that link for that scallop video right up here, of course. And uh, the area is just full of history. Um, like Mar this Marilyn Monroe house where she uh, had a honeymoon with DiMaggio. And some uh, some place Grover Cleveland fished. Yeah. And it's just old it's school. some of like, the oldest like properties in the world, too. I think the oldest Well, house, in Florida right? and in the country. Not in yeah. the world. Well, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> not, not like in, in Florida. Greece. Greece is a little older. In Florida. <laughs> yes, and totally. And you know it's uh, it's old school Florida, and it's just beautiful. You guys gotta come down here and scallop during scallop season, which is right now until September 24th. And uh, all right, we're, we're gonna get to this spring. All right, so we're here. And Darcy, you ready to jump in? No. <laughs> What's the matter? <sighs> Nothing. I guess there could be more, more things to worry about in life, but whatever. It's cold. Did you and test it? It's cold, and as we came down the springs, I was like constantly testing the water, and it got more and more cold. And um, I gotta put my sun on, my glasses, to look at you. But there's a but it's pretty quiet today because it's the middle of the week. But there's a bunch of people here, and I honestly feel like everyone in the water is like from Canada, Canada, and the Great White North, and New York, and all that great stuff. So they love it, and it's probably super warm for them. But it's freaking freezing for me, so I'm not. I'm I'm a little bit scared and nervous, and. Uh, I don't know why, it's just water, but whatever. And I grew up down south in Miami, by, uh, there were springs down there, and I used to take um, s summer classes there and learn how to swim and all that good stuff, lifeguards, and being a lifeguard and whatnot. So it was always cold, and I didn't have any pro problems when I was young, but now I'm older, I don't like the cold water. I'm Get south, in. I'm a South Florida girl. Get in. You just want me to jump in? Get in wherever you want. I'm just gonna get in. Oh yeah, do it. I'm thinking I'm gonna like hold on to this because I'm gonna be like an instant shock. <gasps> it's so cold. Oh god, here we go. <sighs> I'm not enjoying myself right now. <laughs> oh god. No, no, no. Alright. Holy crap. Didn't work. No, holy crap. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Just I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> You can't just do it slowly. You got to do it all at once because it's that cold, guys. I'm sure y'all laughing at me up north. 72 degrees. That is cold. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing my butt off, guys. <sighs> it is cold. I am. This is something I would like not do on a regular basis. Maybe if it was like extra, extra hot, but today there's a lot of clouds and um, I get away from the boat. I'm just cold. Oh God, I don't want to.
Florida's biggest wimp. That was too cold for you, honey? <laughs> he thinks I'm the biggest baby in the world, and I probably am the biggest baby in the world, but I'm from Miami. I'm a Florida girl, and it's it's cold. It's not that enjoyable, honestly. I know you get used to it, but um, I'm just not about wah, the cold wah. weather. It's I'm not. Guys, it's beautiful. It's refreshing. It's a little chilly when you first get in. It's beautiful. Come to Homo Sassa. Check it out. I'm sorry, I'm such a wind. It's a very beautiful area. Don't get me wrong, but I would much rather be in a float and like just have my feet in the water. I'm not all about that swimming. She likes to be in the 85 degree ocean. It's 72 degrees. That's like that's Nothing. like 60. That's like <laughs> that's like, like freezing weather in South right. Florida, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back at this place called the freezer. We liked Lunch. it so much yesterday, and the springs were great. But now we need uh, some waters. <laughs> this place is great. It has, it's, I guess, it's a pretty famous place around here. It's got shrimp. Yeah. Some boiled shrimp. It's a big deal. It's great. Come here. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's rated like one of the best restaurants too. That's and what like you heard. That you're supposed to go to in Florida. A lot of great seafood. So I'm excited. Can we so we're gonna have some food? lunch, and then we're gonna go find those darn monkeys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need to find these monkeys right, everyone's talking monkeys. about. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh guys we made it yeah we made it we officially found monkeys in florida i, I never thought never and i really almost believed like that these stories were not true. Like I just, I don't know for whatever reason, but there seriously is monkeys on this little baby island over here. It's like a mini Alcatraz, <laughs> it's a, literally. They're, yeah, they're a little more trapped than I thought they were gonna be. There are a lot, so the wild monkeys, but they're right here and I couldn't believe just driving around this river. Yeah. And there's monkeys. Yeah, it's crazy. But I just wanna tell you really quick about a story that I heard it could be incorrect or correct, I'm not sure, but let me just give you a rundown briefly. But basically these monkeys were at a, a nearby wildlife Life attraction and um, at one point in time they became so obnoxious to visitors and just throwing poop at them and doing all kinds of crazy stuff stealing their candy or whatever the case may be I and steal I, candy too yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, I eventually got to a point where they needed to kick them out so they ended up putting them on this little island here so it's like a mini Alcatraz and there's I think there's I believe there's five spider monkeys and like two squirrel Didn't monkeys. Didn't one just die? I didn't hear about that. I one just died, but, unfortunately. But anyway. Yeah, and there's like a male that dominates, and he doesn't want anyone on his island. But don't worry, guys. They're Males well dominate. taken care of. They're well taken care of. <laughs> they're fed twice a day, and um, they just they give them fresh blankets, and they do all that kind of great stuff for them. But it's pretty cool. They got a life, life, lighthouse set up. Where they come in from? A house, a nearby wildlife attraction. Oh, That's I, what I heard. Because I heard a different story. Like there was a Tarzan movie filmed here, really? like in the 30s, like in Homo Sassa. And they didn't know what to do with the monkeys afterwards, and so they put them here. <laughs> but I would, you know, these kind of things. These monkeys been here forever, so who knows up here? And yeah, I think they were saying the like sticks. 40 years later or something. They've still been here, and there's new additions and all that great stuff. But uh, but super cool when you come to Homosassa. Yeah, you gotta check this out, man. Not it's like a big only attraction. the manatees, not Look. only the manatees, the monkeys. And the springs, but they got monkeys. Yeah, and of course the monkeys can't swim, guys, so they're not gonna get in the yeah, water. Yeah, that's why they're trapped here. Right, they're on the <laughs> island, but don't worry, they're well taken care of. So maybe, I don't know, maybe if you have some crazy stories of some weird species or animals that are not yeah, like, supposed to be in your town, yeah, go tell ahead. Us below. Yeah, comment below and let us know about that because that's pretty interesting. And just here in Florida, this place is known for manatees and fishing, but there's yeah, a monkey, well, there's an Florida island monkeys. full of monkeys. All right. What the heck? Weird. <laughs> We are heading back in after finding the monkeys. All these storms erupted because it is mid-afternoon now, so it's about to pour on us, and we are headed back home. But that was an epic day exploring the springs and then finding the monkeys in Florida. And our big lunch. You know I like the lunch part. Yeah, that was crazy and cool. <laughs> and no fishing for me. And yummy. Woohoo! And no fishing. Brian loves no fishing. So, but I love fishing, but that's tomorrow. So you guys gotta stay tuned for the rest of our videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching, like always. And a special thank you to Land Shark Lager yeah. for allowing us to go on this trip. And a big special thank you and shout out to Captain Red Ed Brennan. Brennan. All this stuff being in the description below. Yep. Yeah. Um, and he is a big fisherman here and charter captain in Homosassa, and he really knows what he's doing. So thank you for lending us your boat. And uh, yeah, 
So until our next adventure, follow All your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.